I think baby boy wants me to lay with him. Lay with him. Just lean with my baby boy. We're gonna lay down together for a minute. I don't know if I'm getting it. Hey buddy, you like the snow, don't you? Well, there is a lot of it, a lot of it. His tail's gone. I'm pretty sure he likes the snow. But he used to love it in the two planets. Too cold. What? Oh, yeah, I have my sneakers on my tray. So I can put them on when I get up. It's really good. He's peacing out. Come here. Come here. Oh, sorry. I just threw him. Sorry, buddy. Look at how yucky the snow is. Well, I guess it's pretty. But not pretty to drive in. Let's see. I like the camo with the, the camo on this side of me. Um, so, today has been something else. Um, I'm just, well, I, I haven't yet, but because I have to make them public, but I'm done with November. <laughs> oh, good job, Deanna, now do it. December and January and February. Oh my goodness, it's never ending. I am trying, I swear. It's, it's, what are you doing? I love you. I love you. Meow. Meow. Meow, meow. 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 I just had a meow off of them. Say hi. My handsome baby. I'm looking. Oh, it's so I meowed with them. And he meowed back, and then he came over to me. Do you like my meows? Do you know who used to do that with him all the time? Friggin' Joshua. And they would have like 
Jasper had this, well, he has this really high meal. Like, the pitch is ridiculous. But Ace likes it in response to him every time. Well, I'm just gonna pet him for a little while. Um, because he never sits up here with me. I meowed. I meowed. She no. I meowed to the right to. He's so cute. He's bringing up a storm. <clears throat> So, if this is what's left of my food, it just got, um, and so I'm gonna finish it, and then I'm gonna eat my trail mix with some of it. I hate to be that crotchety old fuck that is the deliverer of bad news or anything that puts a damper on anyone, but... Uh, I think I may be a little bit in this one. Uh, I, because I, as a kid, hated that shit. I fucking hate it. I was 22 and I met the girl of my dreams three months later, and I had turned 23 by that time. Three months later, we were married to the day. Three months later to the day, we got pregnant, and life moved very quickly. And uh, that fucking decision ended up turning out in divorce about six years later, but turned out two wonderful children that are a wonderful pain in my ass now. Uh, just kidding. Um, but what I want to address is this notion of velocity. And I want to pair it up with the thing everybody talks about nowadays. And five, ten years ago, this wasn't even on the table. Nobody talked. This phrase wasn't really out there. But this thing about love bombing, right? And here's the thing. Inside of love bombing, there are always, 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 always signs people say well i got love bomb man i there were no signs i didn't see any indicators oh he's a fucking narcissist there, aren't, there weren't any signs there are always signs but because we're increasing the velocity the momentum of forward movement we don't see or we ignore the signs this is why everything gets back to that fucking buddhist notion and i'm not buddhist but i'll steal from anyone it gets back to that buddhist notion of awareness life changes when we become aware not just of what's going on around me and what the narcissist is doing or what the love bomber is doing but what's going on inside of me and how i'm shutting down my awareness systems because i am meeting some need this person's presence is meeting some fucking need so by going slower or just taking your time, it enables you to be more aware. By just fucking calming the fuck down and breathing, you become more aware of what's really going on inside of me. But very often, we don't want to look at that shit because, because that requires uh, looking at all the shit that is corrupting your ability to look at what's going on inside of you. In other words, your past and all the feelings and all the angst and all the pain from your past corrupts your own ability to slow down, to calm, to act from your center. That's what you need when it comes to starting a new relationship. You seldom need it more than that. And so what I'm getting at is, inside of love bombing, there are always signs in your ability to see them uh, and be tuned into them and make the wise decisions based on them is directly correlated to your ability to slow yourself down inside and slow down the pace of the relationship. There's no fucking rush. It'll be there tomorrow. And if it's not gonna be there tomorrow, then it's clearly not a good fucking relationship take your fucking time. Again, hate to be that guy, but I'm that guy. Have a kick-ass day.